Leo, beautiful soul, how are you? My name is Alicia, welcome, welcome back. This is Empath Tarot, where spirits' messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now, in this reading, we will be pulling some messages that will help uncover any abundance blocks you might be experiencing at this time, money or love related. If there is a certain amount of money you would like to manifest into your beautiful life or that special somebody, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe. If you're interested in receiving a personal reading with myself and spirit, all of the details will be down in the description box below along with my husband if you haven't yet check him out he's over at 7d tarot and be sure to stick around until the end of this reading we will be pulling a final message from the universe so quite recently here it was really feeling like you were really feeling the connection of your guidance it felt like you were feeling inspired you were feeling um again just really feeling the guidance of what light uh does for us because we are light bodies right Love and light, right? So we're light bodies. Um, and so basically we are guided by light. Huh? So when something doesn't feel light for us, like it feels dense and heavy and icky, we don't, probably don't want to follow it, right? Probably don't want to go down that path. Probably not something we want to put our time into in that moment, right? Any sometimes something does feel light and feels good for us. And even though there may be challenges in that light guidance, we still understand that it feels lighter than maybe the path we've already walked down. You see how that goes, right? So that's why you always want to follow the light, right? Because that is going to be what you, guides you. And we feel here recently, that's, that's exactly what was happening. You were just following the light and it felt really good for you. High Priestess, Page of Wands, right? Really feeling connected to your guidance. And um, again, here we have just to mirror and validate that Otter Spirit, you are never alone, right? So again, understanding, right? Just having a, a firmer grasp of understanding and just really feeling that resilience of um, of what spirit does and what our spirits does is that we push through uh, challenges because we are we we f we understand what we're here for we understand there is a purpose we understand our purpose and we just want to remind you there are different purposes for each chapter not every you know we always want to discover our purpose but your purpose lives within the light guidance because you're always in a process of getting ready to be ready so it's like you know it's like think of a video game right at each level is getting you ready for the next level and each level is harder right more money more problems so at the end of the day every level is going to have certain challenges you overcome uh, a, a main boss you beat at the end and then you level up so every chapter of life is going to be you you know you know grinding or hustling or whatever you know you want to call it but it's going to be you putting energy and attention towards the things that you want to create right then you're going to have a big boss you got to beat like a big uh, difficult challenge is going to arise and then it's how you show up and overcome that that lets you know if you're ready for the next level right pretty simple so uh right now you were guided into you know kind of an awareness of what's going to come next right and so one of your um one of the things you're overcoming in this chapter is com coming together with those around you, unity, right? But that really means that it's about feeling comfortable with yourself. Because if you don't feel comfortable in your light body, in your avatar, that is, your home is not your four walls, I promise you that. Your home is what you live in. So if you're not comfortable in your home, you're not going to be comfortable with people around you. And that will always be the case. And that's why a lot of empaths have a tendency to hermit away, to not be out in the world, to not participate, to um, have social anxiety, you know, and anxiety in general. And that holds us back. Um, but what that really is, is meaning that we have a lot of energy in our energy bodies that we have to uh, channel. We have to channel it into something. We have to channel it into our creative passions, right? We can't let that anxiety or that fear and, and, and the um, lack of connection or, or what have you we see around us you know, you know, take us, we have to recognize, okay, wait a minute, you know, I just have a lot of energy in my energy body, you know, I need to go and channel my, my attention into something that leaves me feeling more confident with myself, more comfortable with myself, you see, and that's what we're seeing here with the sun card, is that this is going to be what you're learning in this particular time and space, presently, presently, past was that you realized kind of more what you want to do, more clarity on, on a situation in your life, and presently, you are building confidence, and and as a matter of fact, resilience, we'll bring that guy in there too, right? So you're building confidence and resilience in this particular time and space. And with the five of swords, you are overcoming ego, right? Because ego means that you are uncomfortable. When your ego is active, it means your child, the child uh, version of you inside of you is saying, 
I'm not comfortable here. And what that really means is that you're not living your life or looking at that situation in a way that you are creating it. You are regurgitating or you are fearing or you are, um, you know, just reacting. And then so when we are just, we're, when we're not putting any nurture into whatever it is that's upsetting us, that's when we end up neglecting it because we feel uncomfortable. So we neglect, right? When we neglect and we don't nurture, that's going to be what, what creates a lot of fear in our lives and disconnection from the thing we want to do. So we just have to nurture what we want, right? And this is your affirmation for the day. I nourish my nudges. I nourish my nudges. So wherever you're being nudged, nurture it. Keep nurturing it like a plant. You know, you want to fertilize it and water it and take care of it and send it loving energy, right? You want to do that same thing with, a, with whatever you're being nudged into. It's like, say you're nudged into exercise and your inner child is like, oh, exercise, what? Seems like a lot of work. We got to wake up early. It's after work. I'm tired. You want me to do it now? You know what I mean? Like that'll be like the inner child, the, the, the uncertain part of us, right? The part of us that feels like it's a new adventure and we don't know what we're doing, right? So then in that point, your higher self would want to come through and say, okay, so we got to move our bodies. You know, I want it to feel like I want to be sustainable. I want it to feel exciting. You know, I want to, I want to see changes in my life. I know I want to do this. I'm nudged into it. So nurture it. What kind of exercise do you want to do? Put time and attention into it. Look up different workout programs. Which workout program resonates with you? There's so many different, you know, mentors and influencers out there. Find one that resonates with you. Find the right energy. Don't just choose one that everyone's doing. Don't just choose an influencer that like looks good. Choose one that you connect with and then you'll want to show up every day. You see? So that's what it's about is nurturing, nourishing, and um and and really when we do that that's that's truly what creates resilience um and again whenever our ego is active um and uh telling us that we need to try harder we need to do more we need to make it better um that's that's going to be what's going to uh you know that's going to be where things start to falter right so when it comes to um your relationships and when it comes to overcoming this particular um, spiritual lesson right now of feeling comfortable with yourself and then coming together and uniting with the people around you, um, really right now it's about recognizing that, okay, when emotion comes to the surface of your energy body and it is nothing short of, if, if, it's, not, if it's not abundance, joy, optimism, or excitement, then your higher, your inner being, your inner child is telling you that this is not the way that you want to do it, right? This is not creative and this is not fun right? When our inner child is not having, is not feeling creative or fun, it's complaining, right? So you got to show up and make it creative and fun. And so that's what your energy body is telling you. Listen to your emotions. You're not your emotions. Listen to them because they will guide you forward. They will let you know exactly, right? And so we want you to understand that the path of life that is guiding you is guiding you into extreme confidence and courage and strength. And that you are going to start to see that maybe what you were telling yourself or maybe what was being shown initially wasn't the truth, right? So there's always more than one side to these things. So the, you're going to be really, what is this? Seven of wands. Very nice. Eight of cups, the fool. Yeah, exactly. So you're going to be seeing that perhaps maybe an adventure that, or a new beginning that you were partaking on, um, wasn't your end all be all after all. Maybe you thought this wasn't the way, this is what I have to do. This is what I need to do. Right. But maybe it just wasn't so. Maybe that was just a puzzle piece, right? Maybe that was just a puzzle piece. So here's how puzzle pieces go. And this is my recent realization. And this is why journaling is very nice because basically every day the universe will get, bring us a puzzle piece, right? Sometimes one, sometimes two, sometimes three, sometimes multiples. It depends on the day and how open we are, right? Usually like a day off, I'll get multiples. It's so good. Like all day, just puzzle pieces. Um, but on a day where I'm, my energy is dispersed into other focuses, uh, one, two, maybe. Um, and basically what a puzzle piece is, it's a little piece of the puzzle that furthers our knowledge on what the bigger picture is and where we're being guided, the purpose, right? Remember how there's different levels? So the bigger purpose to the next level. Um, and so that's why then we understand what our training is in this level or what our focus is. Ah, oh, that's why I'm doing this right now because I'm going here, you know? So the puzzle pieces kind of give us clues to where we're going. And when we journal, what we can do is recognize, oh, this is a puzzle piece. There, there, this, uh, this is furthering my knowledge on what I'm doing. I see, right? And sometimes we get puzzle pieces and we act off those puzzle pieces, okay? For instance, I'm going to give you an example. Um, just recently, Spirit has guided me back into the kitchen to create fun, exciting, food choices so it's sustainable along with the macros the calories because that soothes my soul I love that I love um, I love figuring out the macros for stuff it's just like fun for me I don't know so anyway so this is where I'm at and um initially when I got this puzzle piece I was like I'm gonna have my own cooking show what no I'm not 
But that's where my mind went, right? That's where my energy went because I could take a puzzle piece and best case scenario it all day long, right? It's kind of, it's like one of my gifts, but it can also be like, you know, one of those things where it's like, well, hold on, ground it in logic, hold on, right? That's, that's probably not what it is, right? So I got the puzzle piece to do that. So I started making recipes in the kitchen. Then the next day I got the puzzle piece to, you know, um, you know, create this recipe. So I think I got puzzle pieces to create different recipes. And then after like four puzzle pieces of recipes I created, then I got the puzzle piece to calculate the macros. After I calculated the macros, then I got the, you know what I mean? So the puzzle pieces will guide you. So when you get a puzzle piece and, you know, don't feel like, you know, disheartened if that puzzle piece, if you, if you put something on it, you know, and you blow it up out of proportion, you know, there'll be more puzzle pieces. That's why just collect the puzzle pieces and write down things in your journal because it makes it so much easier. Your universe message. Things are about to get really juicy, right? A little heads up on addiction that affects, afflicts all really old souls. Oh, Oh, okay, hold on, we're gonna read this. A little heads up on addiction that affects all really old souls. Giving love eventually becomes an even greater need than receiving love. See, you're not so strange. Love the universe. Yep, a little heads up on all addiction that afflicts all really old souls. And you are a really old soul, Leo, so let's let's stop playing, right? Giving love, right? And that's that's what it is. <clears throat> pardon me, about the unity, right? It's coming together, building communities, um, feeling comfortable around others, right? First of all, it starts at home, right? Feel comfortable with yourself, nurture yourself, and then you want to feel comfortable giving to others and nurturing others as well. Um, and, um, and giving is so much better than receiving, truthfully. When we receive puzzle pieces, it's really just to put that, it's really just, oh, this is what I'm going to do to give to others, right? It's, it's more of like universe gives to us for us to share, right? So collect the puzzle pieces, write it down in your journal, and let the bigger picture unfold. We love you so much. We hope you enjoyed your reading. We hope there are messages in here for you, and if there was, like and subscribe. We truly appreciate you. Spirit loves you. I love you, and until our next reading, keep shining, baby.